नमस्ते हाय महर्षि पतंजलि इन हिज क्लासिकल ट्रीटीज पतंजलि योग सूत्र से मन प्रशमनोपाय योग इतने मीनिंग योगा इज द स्किल टू काम डाउन द माइंड योगा फिलोसॉफी मोस्टली रिवॉल्व अराउंड हाउ टू क्वाइट इन द माइंड हाउ टू डिसिप्लिन द माइंड इन वन ऑफ द बिगनिंग सूत्र पतंजलि से योग चित्त वृत्ति निरोध नाउ चित्ता मीन्स माइंड एंड वृत्ति मीन्स द मेंटल मॉडिफिकेशन और द फ्लक्चुएश ऑफ द माइंड और यू कॉल इट एज द अनेसेसरी चैटरिंग ऑफ द माइंड योगा इज द स्किल द टेक्निक द प्रैक्टिकल साइंस विच वेन अप्लाइड स्टॉप्स द अनेसेसरी चैटरिंग ऑफ द माइंड नाउ what causes this unnecessary chattering or you call it as mental diarrhea or whatever the entire circus of yoga is to release the mind from the thought patterns which create disturbance at the mind level at the consciousness level and which take us away from experiencing the reality well this has been said 2500 years ago by the renowned psychologist maharshi patanjali there are five types of vrittis the sutras say vrittaya panchataya klishta aklishta vrittis means the thought patterns the vrittis are of five types some of them are klishta vrittis and some of them are aklishta vrittis klishta vrittis are the thought patterns which are detrimental which create disturbance at the mind level and aklishta vrittis are the thought patterns which are beneficial to one which uh, lead us to wisdom the five types of vrittis are pramana viparyaya vikalpa nidra smriti pramana viparyaya vikalpa nidra smriti now let us see what is pramana pramana means the valid and accurate knowledge how do we perceive the knowledge one the knowledge which is gained through sense organs direct experience like for example uh, when i see a mango tree i take it as a mango tree and not a coconut tree because i can see the tree i can touch the tree and i can smell the fruit so i take the mango tree as a mango tree then the knowledge which comes as a statement from a reliable source like for example when a yogi is make a statement we believe them right because they have come to that statement they have come to that result after a lot of research after a lot of contemplation then the knowledge as a result of past experience or uh, testimony like for example teenagers have mood swings now uh, it is learned from the past experience that the teenagers have mood swings because of the hormonal shifts in their body or uh, another example is uh, the normally the babies are born uh, in between 8th and 9th month so it is learned from the past experience yes next one is viparyaya viparyaya means incorrect cognition or misconception or false knowledge formed of a thing which is other than what it is to imagine something uh, based on the information you get it may not be the actual fact human thinking is mostly based on this vritti viparyaya vritti this is a klishta vritti actually which can be uh, corrected with pramana direct knowledge um, the best example is we can give is a mirage in the desert when we see a mirage in the desert it is a wrong knowledge and it can be corrected with pramana by going and seeing there by the direct experience another example we can take is uh whatsapp message when we read messages on the whatsapp you read the message and you imagine certain intentions and feelings behind the message and reply accordingly with a lot of friendly emojis 
because you send so many emojis because you imagine certain things yes pramana viparyaya and now vikalpa vikalpa means imagination it is the creative ability it is the glorification of thoughts like putting up things together to create mental pictures things and ideas now the fourth one is nidra nidra means sleep it is a state of voidness it is a state of uh, emptiness where one is not aware of the individual identity for example in wakeful state i am aware of my name i am aware that i am a yoga therapist but when i am in a deep sleep and somebody suddenly wakes me up at an unearthly hour for a couple of seconds i am not able to recollect who am i what is my name where i am so this is because when i go into a deep sleep i go into voidness i become a part of the bigger entity and now the last one smriti smriti means memory memory is the information that the mind holds on we remember so many names so many different different types of information the scientific information this is all because of smriti throughout the life from childhood we come across so many experiences so many incidents highs and lows of life but do we remember all of them we remember only those which have which create an impact on the mind to which the mind holds on this is because of the vritti smriti uh let's take a recap pramana means the right knowledge viparyaya means the incorrect cognition or misconception of things vikalpa is the creative ability or imagination nidra is sleep and smriti is memory now uh, it is mentioned in patanjali yoga sutra that these vrittis are the result of desires attachment and fear of external world to understand this concept better uh, let us take an example when we are wearing uh, when you are wearing cooling glasses suppose there is dust sitting on the glass you cannot see anything clearly right everything looks blur because of the uh, dust sitting on the glass in the same way you can compare the cooling glass with the mind and the dust sitting on the glass with the klishta vrittis klishta vrittis are the thought patterns which bring disturbances at the level of mind so because of this klishta vrittis we cannot see the things as they are we cannot see the actual reality of the things so patanjali yoga sutra say yoga chitta vritti nirodha consistent practice of yoga will quieten the mind and it will bring tranquility to the mind hope i have made this concept clear thank you namaste and take care